Hi everyone, so I wanted to go through my September favourites and flops, or more so favourites. Um, yeah, so I'll get right down to it. So, um, I'll start with mascaras. Um, I've been using the um, MUA Curl Mascara, Extreme Curl. Um, now for the girls here in the UK, you know that you can get MUA in um, Superdrug. The um, majority of their products are £1, basically. Um, and I'm really quite impressed with this mascara. I thought it was going to be really cheap and just won't stay on for very long. But um, it's really quite the opposite. It's really, really nice mascara. It holds the curl really well. It's not as wet as um, some other mascaras, which I actually prefer um, to dry mascaras. But for some reason, with this one, it doesn't matter. Um, and it just gives you a really lovely, natural look with um, a curled lashes. I don't actually curl my lashes that much, but with this mascara you definitely don't need to. It's got a lovely brush, which is slightly curved, you can see. Um, yeah, really, really easy to apply, and yeah, like I said, really happy with it. Really quite nice packaging as well, um, and I think for one pound you can't go wrong. So that's that. Um, next thing for my eyes, um, as um, if you saw my previous video, you know I absolutely love my Urban Decay um, cream eyeshadows. The two favourite colours for this month for me were Suburbia and Rehab. They are both quite similar. Uh, Suburbia I'm actually wearing on now, which is kind of light um, brown. The uh, Rehab is a little bit darker. Um, I'll give you a swatch. This is the Suburbia. Um, yeah quite nice colour. I find it really easy to wear for work so yeah um, I've just been wearing these really every single day but those two colours in particular were my favourite um, because um, even though the weather in the UK has been really hot actually unusually um, I'm kind of getting into the mood of fall and um, getting warmer colours and, and all that so that's that. Um, for lips I've been absolutely loving uh, this um, this is actually the uh, Sleek True Colour lipstick. This is in the um, colour Liquor. This is what it looks like. It's kind of really, it's almost like a taupe brown. Really, really warm colour. Um, and very, very natural. Again, I'm actually wearing it right now. So you can see what it looks like. And I've been matching it together with this Stila Lip Glaze. And this one is in amaretto and those two together just look beautiful they look really really natural and um, they stay on I mean that that lipstick in particular considering that I think I paid about four pounds it's so moisturizing it stays on for a really really long time I think I touched up once or twice at work today so yeah I'm really really impressed with those two so I will be using those much more this autumn definitely um, and next thing for blush, I've got one blush which is favourite, which is my favourite for this month, which is the NYX um, Angel. And this is what it looks like. It's quite light pink with a little subtone of um, kind of light brown. It's quite a warm uh, colour again. Um, this is what it looks like, if you can see. it's. It doesn't have much of a hint of... Um, Kind of reddish pink so it does look really natural and yeah I find it really easy it's not um, flaky on your skin or anything but you guys who use NYX you probably know all that I mean this is my first NYX blush so anyway I'm really impressed with it though. Um, for my concealer I've been loving my uh, Makeup Forever palette I think this is in number one which is this one and I've been actually mixing these two colours um, and I actually get perfect coverage from those two so um, I'm sure that when we come to the winter months I'm going to be using more of the uh, lighter colours as my skin will get a little bit um, light as well. Um, next thing is this Stila One Step Bronzer. It's not really a bronzer, it's a makeup but it's actually got, it's just a skin tune um, illuminating bronzing serum which um, has a primer as well um, and I've been loving this 
just at the beginning of this month um, when I came back from holiday really really lovely coverage not too much so it doesn't look like you're wearing a foundation it just looks like a sheer powder really really lovely color um, give you a little swatch it will look a little bit dark now because my skin's got much lighter hence I'm not wearing it as much but I do love the consistency it's just really creamy it glides on skin really lovely so yeah I've been loving that one and the last one of my favorites um, and I'm actually really happy it was my birthday about two weeks ago um, and I backed and backed and backed and got a set of the royal brushes and this set I think came in 20 brushes I think maybe 20 or 24 and it's just the basic kind of set and I just love them I just show you one of them this is my powder brush that came with it and they are super super soft really really easy to use and I've been using mainly Mac and I do like uh, like Mac but um, I wanted a proper set and the Mac brushes are really quite expensive um, whereas this was a birthday gift so I kind of justify the price um, but yeah I love these really really good recommend They're much cheaper actually than Mac and I think the quality is just as good so like that now for my um, September flops I'll start again with eyes now this one was a really really tricky one this is the NYC um, high definition mascara now I know these are really quite popular and I do like it I love the way it separates my lashes I like the way that it's quite wet it's not too dry one thing I really really don't like about this mascara though is that it seems that by three o'clock the end of my lashes have no coating at all it just flakes away um, now I know this is really really cheap mascara I mean it, I think I paid about four pounds for this in Superdrug but still I would expect for mascara to last at least a day <laughs> and um, as I was talking about the MUA mascara the um, extreme curl one um, considering that that one cost me one pound and it stays on the whole day it's beautiful there is no excuse so love the color love it in the morning but like I say come to two three o'clock in the afternoon and I just don't feel I'm wearing mascara at all so I probably will be buying that one again um, the next one is actually the next three are skin products so this is the first one these are the Neutrogena wipes and these are the Visible Clear Lipid Clear wipes um, helps to reduce but in eight hours no it doesn't <laughs> I've been using this is my second packet I've been using it every single night and it made no difference to my skin whatsoever um, so yeah it's, it, it it feels good when you clean your face with it. It does feel like it's doing something, but it, I can't see any difference, I have to say. So, yeah, so that's that. The next one is the um, Purity Made Simple Cleanser. Now, I actually heard about this, um, and I had really, really good reviews. Um, so I bought the sample size. Um, I used it about four or five times and I, I wasn't that impressed actually what I noticed is that my skin was getting drier and drier so I actually stopped using it so I don't know maybe I'll give it another go but at the moment it's a flop for me I'm afraid and um, the last thing from flops is the NYC uh, smooth skin loose powder now this is actually a great value for money I think I paid something like three pounds for the whole packet and it is as you can see a really big packet as yeah um, 20 grams which is really big but every time I put it on even though I put a little bit and I blow the excess powder it makes my uh, my skin look so white <laughs> I, I don't look like a zombie and it literally goes two or three shades lighter so I don't know whether I need to wait for the winter and um, see um, when my skin is a little bit lighter naturally anyway and it won't be so noticeable but at the moment I just can't wear it it just doesn't look good um, besides 
I'm pretty sure that this is the thing that broke me out. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be trying that anytime soon. I did remember though, there is one more thing that I wanted to um, say, which is actually my favourite. And that's this nail varnish. Um, and if you can see it. This is, I'm just going to take it out. This is the... Andrea Fullerton Nail Boutique Trio. This is what it looks like. And this is in petrol in water. Um, it's actually kind of revolutionary nail varnish. So you've got basically two different nail varnishes. So you can see one is kind of dark color, one is light color that you can wear separately. Or you can put one on the top of each other. And that's what creates this kind of green, blue, purpley nail varnish um, I thought it was really quite amazing because um, I heard about it actually here on a YouTube um, I can't now remember who talked about it but it's, um, it's a little while back so it was a few weeks back um, and I completely forgot about it until I went super drugs about a week ago um, and I saw it, saw this, and I couldn't remember the colour that the girl bought either. Um, so I just went for the one that looked kind of most obvious, and I, I do actually think that this is the colour she was talking about. But it is really quite amazing because, as you can see, that colour is really, really dark. It's like a dark brown. And on the other hand, this colour is completely sheer white, kind of pearly white. So for those two colours to create. This kind of bluish green colour is really kind of amazing. So anyway, um, so this is this video is going on for way too long. So um, yeah, so these were my um, my favourites and my flops for September. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, please leave me any comments below, uh, any suggestions or um, anything you would like to see in the future. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Bye.